let's talk about the bright spot of the collection. Let's finish this video with a bright spot. So Mario Galaxy gets a lot of hate from fans for the control scheme. Um, predominantly, like, in handheld mode, people don't like that you have to use the touch screen right. to, like, initiate the star launching and stuff. Um, I agree. I don't really like playing Mario Galaxy handheld, mm -hmm. but I think if you play with a pro controller on a TV, it's a lot of fun, and the controls work really well. And I don't really see how Nintendo could have done much differently with it. So I don't know. I think Galaxy is totally playable. It's an awesome game. And it's definitely basically the only reason, in my opinion, to buy this collection. Yeah, absolutely. The other I think the other two games are, you know, they're not I don't think it's worth it for them. But um, but, but yeah, like you said, Galaxy is so such an awesome game. Like I recommend it to anybody. Um, it's just like every single part of that game is fun <laughs> you know like the levels are just so brilliant like i think uh, you know just like remembering i mean at the time it was incredible but playing it again now i mean it's like it's mind-blowing like how um like you know like there's spheres and objects that you're like kind of walking in three dimensions on uh and you're like you know zooming between them with like essentially like the little rocket mechanic or whatever you're blasting like in the in the stars you like you jump into the little stars and like blast you to the new rocks or the new little planetoids or whatever you want to call them and it's just like so fun um <clears throat> i think it has like just such great platforming uh it's so it's so rewarding like every part like the thing the thing, the thing that really like um separates galaxy from uh you know sunshine is I think when you fail in Galaxy, it's like your fault. <laughs> you can't really like blame the game as much. And I felt like in in Sunshine, I was it's really just the game's like poor design. Um, like for whatever reason, Nintendo just really just nailed how to make that type of game. Um, and Galaxy is just like yeah, it's a master class in that type of game. Well, it's also like. The camera, right? Like you're not fighting oh, yeah, the camera in Galaxy. Sure. The camera does a, they do a really good job. The camera constantly follows you and you don't even you rarely need to even move the camera in Galaxy. So that's to me, that's a huge part of the reason why Galaxy is infinitely more playable than Sunshine. Oh, for sure. And for sure. And and for me, the controls in Galaxy are vastly superior in the sense of like when you jump, like it's very uh, like Mario's very like sticky and like he doesn't like go running like and doing all these movements that like you didn't intend for him to do. But you know what? I actually, I kind of, I agree and I disagree after I played it right after playing sunshine. And by the end of sunshine, I was really used to the light controls mm. and I kind of grew to like them. So when I first started galaxy, I felt like uh, my, I could like barely jump. I felt, I felt, I felt the gravity, no pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, of like every jump. And I was like, wow, I feel like I can't really like move anymore. Like Sunshine's controls are actually pretty cool once you get used to them. Like it's really free. Yeah, that's true. Like Sun Sunshine isn't terrible. Um, it's it's really you know it's like it's like the um the mechanics in isolation are not bad. It's really just like the level design. I think. Um, it's just the way you interact. Sometimes it's just just broken. Well, just to, speaking of the movement, it's just a different style. Like the controls are very loose in Sunshine, mm -hmm. whereas in Galaxy, they're pretty like they're pretty tight. Like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. You're not gonna have any extra movement, which is like good. But some people might prefer the loose controls, where you can kind of you're a bit more free to move around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I think the tighter ones are just you know easier, um, uh, for newer people. Um, but maybe just less, maybe a little bit less fun for people who are really good at that. I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah, it does seem like as time goes on, um, Mario's controls become tighter and tighter because I think Odyssey is very tight as well. Um, like I, I don't recall like the controls being really problematic and I played galaxy or sorry, I played Odyssey like a lot in, um, handheld mode, like no problem at all. Like even those really hard final bosses and stuff. Yeah, agreed. It, it's really well. Mario Galaxy is tailor made for the Switch, and it definitely shows. Sorry, Mario Odyssey. But okay, so both of us kind of agree that Galaxy is sort of the bright spot here. I think most people tend to agree with that, to be honest. Um, but the final question for today is: Do you think Nintendo learned anything from this collection, or are we going to see kind of the same lazy uh, effort put into like Zelda Skyward Sword? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting question. You know, th I think. Maybe there was it could there could have been some kind of like backroom drama behind 
um this 3d all-stars collection that um maybe like you know we're not aware of like there's some reason why like seemingly so little effort was put into it um because it is it is seemingly kind of like out of character for nintendo in my opinion um i mean mm-hmm. you know 20, yeah, 2020 was like the year of covid so you know it, it really pushed back a lot of their releases um you know, and Nintendo probably just wanted to get something out of the door and maybe they were working on this and like they had maybe slight, maybe they had greater ambitions, but like because of the situation and it was like potentially releasable, they just decided to go with it. Um, you know, that's like maybe completely reasonable. I don't know, but there's, you know, like researching video game companies, you know, there's always drama and reasons for things happening the way they do that they do. I would say that uh scoured sword, I think is going to be um, much better in terms of this. Like they really made put a lot of effort in. I mean, obviously like you can tell just in the videos from with the control scheme, like converting the Wii controls to the switch. It seems very, very good. Like you can, you know, not use the motion controls now in Skyward Sword, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, if you play it, uh, which is with handheld or whatever, you don't have to like throw your switch <laughs> as a sword. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, uh, Skyward Sword's gonna need a lot more touched up than the controls to make it really, really shine again. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. We'll see what they do with it. I'm hoping. I mean, I do like Skyward Sword, but there are quite a few problems to fix up. Um, I think this is going to be kind of like this, like Mario 3D All Stars, is going to be one of Nintendo's more infamous moments in history. I honestly <laughs> it think might like, be. it's just it's it's just such a disappointment to Mario fans. It's almost like a slap in the face to Mario, especially like with the game lasting six months and they killed Mario 35 or whatever that game was called on the Switch. Like it just seems like they just it was like a giant slap in the face to Mario. Yeah, yeah, possibly. I mean, I agree. I agree completely. But um, as I said before, I. I do think it could have been sort of like a 2020 thing. Like it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for like the change in schedule and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't, I can't substantiate that, but that would be my guess. I mean, the pandemic could play a big part and I will say for a bright spot, Mario 3d Mario 3d world. They released that in the switch. That's much better done. It's really fun. I actually really liked Mario 3d world. And I think that was actually surprisingly the better game here, even though it was only one game compared to like a Mario 3D collection. But that was a really great collect. It was a really great game to re-release. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I've heard like such great things about uh, Bowser's Fury, even though it's not very long. Um, But that's like a completely unique game. uh, And it seems interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, for some reason, that game just got way more love than this one. But Anyways, that's our thoughts on the Mario 3D All-Stars collection. Um, final question, is it worth buying? Is it worth playing? What do you think? <laughs> um, it's worth playing if only you want to play is uh, Mario Galaxy. <laughs> I think, honestly, uh, I think you should just... I mean, I don't know. I pl- Yeah, I don't know. I, it's probably worth it, but definitely I would say like only if you can like find it for like almost no money. <laughs> that's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. There's a big there's a big asterisk next to this title. Um, is it worth playing? Yeah, I guess if you real if you're a huge fan of the originals or you've never touched them before, but just know that 64 and Sunshine are not quite as good as most of the other 3D Mario games at this point, at least without updated uh, updates. But I think it's worth buying for the experience. But I think there's an asterisk next to that. It's also very disappointing at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to to not have a positive uh, opinion about Mario. Even I mean, we both certainly love Nintendo. It's just you can't you can't like alter your views. <laughs> have to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think that uh, getting Mario Galaxy was really fun. It would have been really great to have Galaxy too. That would have made oh, this collection one hundred percent worth yeah. buying. 100%. Dude, for a while, people but, thought that like Mario two or sorry, Galaxy two was like unlockable somehow. That would have been like mind boggling if that was true. <laughs> like, like you do, like if, like if you, you know, you hundred percent all three games, and then like Mario Galaxy two appears. Oh, holy crap! That would have been incredible. <laughs> i don't even know if i'd be willing to 100 percent mario sunshine to get that but I, maybe maybe 
All right. Anyway, that's all the time we have today. Toby, hopefully we'll get you back for like a Skyward Sword episode or something where we can give a more positive <laughs> uh, opinion of a third of an anniversary collection. So here's to hoping Skyward Sword's awesome. Toby, thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem. All right. See you guys later.